President Lyndon Johnson signing the Civil Rights Act 50 years ago. President Obama will mark the anniversary this week. Now we shine our Sunday spotlight on an African-American trailblazer. Misty Copeland is set to become a breakout ballet star, one of the only elite black ballerinas. And now she's wondering why there aren't more like her. Here's Nightline and GMA Weekend anchor, Dan Harris. Surprising things to know about Misty Copeland, who's a soloist at the prestigious American Ballet Theater. First, her day in this supposedly dainty, genteel world is phenomenally rigorous. There are professional athletes who probably couldn't handle your day. <laughs> yeah. It takes more strength than a lot of athletes um, put in. The second surprise, how she rose to the top of this elite art form. I had no real direction, no real motivation to become anything. Copeland led an itinerant, impoverished childhood in the Los Angeles area, along with her siblings and single mom. We were pretty much homeless and were living in a motel, trying to scrape up enough money just to go to the corner store and get like cup of noodle soup to eat. It was probably just the worst time in my childhood when ballet found me. More specifically, ballet teacher Cindy Bradley, who discovered Misty at age 13 at this Boys and Girls Club. And having someone believe in me is why I think I dove into it. Incredibly, just four years after her first class, Misty was accepted by one of the top ballet companies in the world. But she would then face an even larger struggle. I can't believe she's back. Of course she's back. No, not black swan hit. style scheming, but instead something more subtle. How often do you run across African-American or other minority ballerinas? When it comes to classical ballet, um, you just don't see it. In classical ballet, elite ballerinas are virtually always white. People don't want to break this tradition of what they think the ideal image is of a ballerina. For a decade, Copeland was the only black ballerina at ABT, and still today there are none at the highest level, the position of principal ballerina, Copeland's fervent dream. Here we are in America with a, a black president, and this little world is so tough to crack. It's really hard. The classical ballet world is so far behind. Have you ever encountered overt racism? Not so much myself, but to hear from a, a seven-year-old African-American girl being told that, you know, maybe you shouldn't be in this ballet class because you won't have a career. She is hoping to change that with a new ABT program to recruit diverse students. And as an emerging star, she's a powerful symbol as well. You can see her dancing with Prince or TLC. You're going to do a lunge and you're going to hold your arm out. So Even can... with an uncoordinated television reporter. I want you to know that I'm doing all the hard work here. <laughs> Are you ever up on stage thinking, how did I get here? It's crazy, but then I have to remember all the hard work that went into those years to get here. But I do often think of that. And she's not done yet. For this week, Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. A big thanks to Misty and Dan. Check out an excerpt of Misty Copeland's new book, Life in Motion, at abcnews.com slash this week.